hey guys welcome back to my channel AG motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this looping animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin but with the help of one simple trick so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and if you want to watch more tutorials like this then please hit that bell icon so if you get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Now let's create a new composition and as always we will call it as main animation. Width I'll choose 1920, height should be 1080. Frame rate is 30, duration is 1 minute and background color is solid black. And hit OK. Choose grid and guide option and hit title save action. Now what we will do, we will choose our text tool and with the help of that, I will type one text, let's say yes, select this text, press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center, then go to this align tab, align it horizontally, align it vertically. Now press s for scaling option and scale it over here, go to the character menu and I choose font like impact, you can choose very similar font like that. Press Ctrl Alt Home again, align it horizontally and then align it vertically. Press V for selection tool by holding shift, I will drag it over here. Again, hit Ctrl D and I will drag it over here. Yeah, just like this. Now select both the text, press Ctrl Shift C. I will call it as let's say YES and now. Double click on it, hit Ctrl K to open our composition settings. Now we need to reduce the height until we get appropriate height for this one. Yeah, let's say 600 should be good. Hit OK. Hit Ctrl A to select both of them and I move this in the middle of our composition just like this now again hit ctrl k we will reduce the width also close to 600 let's see how does it looks yeah this looks good to me and hit ok drag it a little bit over here or you can move it over here now press ctrl y to create one solid background i'll call it as bg and hit ok and drag it over here now select both of them and press ctrl shift c again and i'll call it as yes and hit ok i'll hide this one for now press ctrl y and over here i'll choose white color i'll call it as bg and hit ok drag it over here now choose our text tool i'll type n o hit ctrl a for the font color i'll choose black color Select this text, press Ctrl Alt Home, align it horizontally and then align it vertically with the Align tab, just like this. Now press S for scaling option and scale it up to here, like this and drag it over here. Hit Ctrl D, press V, I'll move it over here. Hit Ctrl D, I'll move it over here so we we'll get this kind of stuff. Hit U. Now all we need to do, we need to unhide this yes. Now we will go to the effect and presets panel and we will apply CC split effect on it just like this. As we can see with the help of that we have two anchor points and if we increase the split value as you can see it will split our layer. So what we will do now, we will drag this anchor point over here and this anchor point over here initially and what we'll do we'll create one keyframe over here and one keyframe over here now hit u and zoom in a little bit at one second this is our point a and this is b so i'll move this point b up to this and point b i mean point a to this 
Now after that, I'll select this point A keyframes and I'll just move it forward. If we hit play now, we will get this kind of animation. Now select those last keyframes and just move it forward. Select those keyframes and hit F9. So we will get smooth animation. Now over here, I'll create one keyframe. And at this position, I'll create another keyframe. If we hit play, we'll get this kind of stuff. Now after that, all we need to do, we'll click on this point B and we need to type blue. So we we'll loop out expression over here. Hit Ctrl A, hit Ctrl C, alt click on this point A and hit Ctrl B to paste that expression. So we will get this kind of looping animation continuously. Now after that, select this yes layer, go to the effect and presets panel and simply apply drop shadow effect on it. Increase the distance up to 20, increase the softness up to 100. So we will get this kind of stuff. Now go to our main animation comp, we have this one over here. Now press S for scaling options, scale it a little bit. Go to the effect and presets panel and apply CC repetition effect on it. I will choose right ex expand right and let's make it 2000. Select this 2000 and hit Ctrl C and we need to copy for all of them just like this. If we hit play, we will get this kind of animation. Now after that select this tile or let choose or if we choose random it is this kind of stuff but instead of that we will choose brick and press R for rotation and if we rotate it we will get this kind of stuff. Just like this. But before rotating, I will make it zero first. I will select this composition by holding shift. I will move it up to here, let's say, just like this. Press Ctrl R. I will drag one ruler up to here, zoom in a little bit. We will select our composition, press P drag it over here yeah. double click on it hit u and let's see at what position our looping point is at this one go to the menu and you say over here now create one keyframe over here initially create one keyframe over here now go over here and as you can see our y alphabet is stick with this r and with the help of shift I will simply move this composition a little bit here and now make sure that this Y is now stick with it. Now choose fit just like this. Yeah. Now hit N and if we hit play, we will get this kind of looping animation over here. Now after that, create one null object, select this yes and no and make it apparent with this null one, press R and now if you want then you can rotate it. Now after that go over here, select increase this timeline, select both of them, press Ctrl Shift C to call it as let's say comp maybe or whatever you want. Alt click and close bracket, zoom in a little bit and move it over here. Hit Ctrl D, open bracket, go at the last, again hit Ctrl D, open bracket. Again hit Ctrl D, open bracket. So we will have continuous looping animation through our whole composition. Just like this. Now, after that, if you want, then select this layer, go to the effect and presets panel, and simply apply tint effect on it and swap these colors. 
So if we hit play, we will get this kind of stuff. Again select this one, apply tint effect on it. Instead of Y, you are free to choose any color you want. Or you can simply swap these colors or so just select this one again apply tint effect instead of black you can apply red color or bluish color just like this so yep this is our final looking animation with just simple calculation and just simple tricks So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. And if you want to watch after effect tutorials in Hindi then please consider to visit my another channel called AG Animations. Link will be available in the description. Until then stay tuned.